Buddhist philosophy, specifically um, continental philosophy and ethics. So it was really interesting coming to disability studies because I, um, I had a, a long and historied field um, meeting a young and, and diverse field. I got my master's in rehabilitation counseling, but yet I wanted to explore what I was what I saw and what was happening and what I'm particularly interested in is um, social participation of adults with intellectual disabilities. My research interests have to do with long-term supports and services, particularly Medicaid-funded, um, and looking at differences between institutional and home and community-based uh, waiver services. My research interests here in the department are around sexuality, um, especially sexuality education for people with intellectual disabilities and also the intersections between disability studies and feminism. Uh, my specific interests are assistive technology and the performing arts. My research interests are physical activity and health and affordable assistive technology for people with disabilities. My research interests are is in um, empowerment groups for women with disabilities. I came here to study narratives and discourses of pain. It's stayed actually quite consistent, though I have added an interest in disability in film. So when I graduate, I hope to teach. Um, as I'm a humanities student, I think it kind of depends where my research falls, where, what department or what area exactly I want to teach in, but that's the ongoing goal. I wish to work in the world of academia and also do a few artistic projects of my own. I'm hoping either to go into um, academic research when I graduate or um, something to do with uh, creating empowerment groups um, for women with disabilities. Um, I hope to get into academia. Um, I like to teach and I'm also interested in technology. so. I want to be do, uh, doing the research in that area as well. I'd like to get a job teaching at a university, whether in disability studies or more likely somewhere in the general humanities. So I'm very interested in the marriage of policy and academia and <laughs> providing useful data to policymakers in order for them to make informed decisions hopefully make choices that will benefit people with disabilities and their families. I would like to work at one of the university centers for excellence in developmental disabilities, which is where we are here. Um, and there's 67 in the nation, and I want to take on different projects at one of the, the AUCD centers. It was, it was challenging at first, and luckily there were faculty and, and other students who I could talk to. I felt like um, I feel like if we weren't speaking the same academic language, we at least had a translator's guide that we could, um, so that we could we could talk to each other. And even those that didn't uh, know what I was talking about in terms of my, my specific interests, they were very helpful. They were eager to learn and eager to have a conversation. And you know, that, I think that was the most important. By coming to this department, getting it, getting out as a student here, you become part of this much larger network, uh, which will, in the long term, uh, help you with career goals and research and uh, getting a job later on. So that's one thing that's definitely a plus. Prior to becoming a student here, I had about 11 or 12 years of experience working in community-based services, and so I found that it was a really nice complement to my direct service work that I had already done um, in order to further my career goals. In the program on Disability Arts, Culture, and the Humanities, which is a really amazing program that connects students interested in humanities with local artists. Um, we, there's a lot of disability culture that comes to Chicago, and UIC and this department is highly connected with that, so I think for me that's been one of the most exciting things about coming here. Our department is um, 
interdisciplinary. So we have people from the humanities and social sciences and everyone. It's just a lot of perspectives and it gives me, it makes me feel comfortable to able to be in the same room with people who may not have the same discipline and still were able to have a conversation. I wish I had known that uh, there's a huge emphasis on reading and doing a lot of work at once. The class sizes are, are real small. Um, you get to know your professors and the feedback they give you is very comprehensive so you always feel like you're improving yourself. I wish I had known how, like what diverse interests and tracks people are in because I think actually this has been one of the most beneficial learning experiences having people that are doing social science work alongside people that are trying to make changes within the rehab sciences alongside theory and humanities people helps to I don't know challenge the work that each of us are doing here. I would say even if you know your interest willing to learn new things. You know, you, you come here and you don't know what's going on and who's who, so I would be less shy about meeting with the director, meeting with professors, going to their office hours and going to all the student events and working with the Disability Studies Student Council to meet people and find out through chit-chatting what everyone's doing. I was so intimidated coming in, oh, you know, afraid to talk to people, but that is your key to success, It's just get out there and start talking to people. Yeah, just and talk to professors and other students, and the, the people who are your first years with you, they are the ones that are going to travel this road with you, and so, so they're your huge support system. I probably would have um, looked more into the housing options around the campus, because uh, I, I really haven't spent much time in that aspect, so uh, I just picked a place and moved in. So, Live in a neighborhood, you can get cheaper places by yourself um, off campus. I would have wanted to know more about Chicago, because I, I, you know, I'm not from here, and I didn't know anything about it coming in. And it's, it's a big city, it's a whole different world. Chicago is cold. I grew up here. And I left and I forgot that it is so cold. <laughs> There's always stuff to do in Chicago, whether it's Navy Pier or um, going to one of Chicago's famous restaurants. You'll never be bored on the weekends. I would perhaps just add that the department, the student body, has a lot to offer and there are a lot of opportunities to connect with fellow students' work, with a variety of there is a great camaraderie amongst the students, like we're all friends, we all know each other, and there's social events be, um, planned a lot. Because I know there's a lot of people that come in with clinical or technical training. Um, disability studies is different than studying disability, and you need to know that coming in. You need to embrace it. Ask yourself, where will you be five years from now anyway if you don't do it? Um, and odds are, if you can picture yourself five years from now with a master's degree or working towards your PhD, then I would say you're much farther than you are right now, so why not? Just do it. You know, if, if you're drawn to this program, it, it will open up opportunities you didn't even think were possible.